Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we made it to Valua. Got a absolute ton of discoveries, and we started hunting the Ark Whale, Raknam. Anyway, let's continue. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to get even a week of sleep. Raknam is nearby. That's all I could think as I lie there trying to sleep. So here we are. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any shut-eye. Maybe I'll take a little walk to try and calm myself down. Okay. So, let's take a little walk around the ship. Everybody else is sleeping, I believe. Uh, there used to be... This used to be a storage area, but Ica and Fina now use it as their bedroom. Ugh, I swear. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> Sounds like Ica's talking in her sleep again. Yeah, uh, we better not disturb the ladies. This is the captain's room, but I don't hear his snoring like usual. I wonder if he's awake. Captain? Captain? It's Vase. You awake? There's no response. I wonder where he is. I wonder where Vase sleeps then. I very much doubt we sleep with the captain. Maybe, just maybe, we sleep on the lifeboats. Ugh, it won't open. It must be locked. Yeah, one day we'll be the captain of our own fine ship. Just think about that, Vase. Oh, Vase has got a hammock there, in the hallway. Well, I mean, <laughs> needs must, I suppose. This is the hammock that I've been sleeping in. The engine's kind of loud, but I've gotten used to it by now. Ah, interesting. Okay, so he <laughs> he sleeps in the engine room. Ugh. Don't worry, Vase. One day, one day, things might be better. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll end up with the most powerful ship that sails the skies. I mean, you never know. Strange things have happened. Well, Captain's not up here. So that just leaves this door to the deck. Ah, very lonely. Captain? Is that you, boy? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was a about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. This is a really nice scene, actually. What's that? Huh. Open it. It's full of feathers. My son collect used to collect those. You had a son? This isn't like a big, like relevation uh, phase. We <laughs> we kind of got tipped off to this earlier. I about the same age as you. A long time ago, I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come out with us. His name was Jack. He was a small boy who liked to help out the other sailors. They used to call him Little Jack. One day, we went out fishing as usual. Then Racknam came. We didn't know how powerful Racknam was and we tried to fight him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Racknam destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew and Jack weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell, like they'd stop him from falling. Oof. I can still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day, I swore revenge on Racknam, for my crew and for Jack. I need to kill Ragnam to avenge my crew and my son. Ouch. Huh. 
I'm getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain. This fog, could it be? Boy, go wake the others. It's him. Ragnam is here. All right. Uh, that's kind of a sad tale with uh, our friend Ragnam here. You can actually hear Ragnam here, which is really cool. And it's all stormy and ominous. Really cool, this atmosphere. Um, but at the same time, you know... <sighs> He did decide to try and fight a huge, gigantic arc whale uh, with a small fishing boat. So, I mean, he's the captain, so it's kind of his fault. Um, yeah. Anyway, we need to sail this way. We can actually try and sail out of Valua. And we'll get shouted at if we keep going this way. Let's just try that. Yeah, if we go too far down here... Uh, of course, we'll have combat. Um, we have Cutlass Fury. Just speed through this. Because ain't nobody need to see this. Yeah, man. Everybody's running away anyway. I don't know what all these enemies are doing here anyway. There's a giant arc well floating around. I mean, hey, money. Hey, rank up. Not bad. Noxus. Yeah, just about here. There we go. Idiot. Where do you think you're going? You're heading straight out of Valua. Rackman is somewhere around here. I won't let you ruin my chance to catch him this time. Turn this boat around right now. Yes, Captain. Seems a trifle unwise, but hey. You're the Captain. So, anyway... Rackman is somewhere around here, I believe. Nope, this is just a normal fight. Nope. Everybody else just bundling. Kill! Gotta make sure we get those because, my god, we're gonna be needing a lot of money. In the not too distant future. There we go. Nice. Hey. Drachma leveled up. Well, yeah, for what it's worth. Pretty sure he's around here anyway. Ah, here we go. What is that sound? It sounds like cannon fire. Boy, dead ahead. There's the arc whale. Captain! It's him! Yeah. Now we get a bit of a better look at him. Hmm. Doesn't really just look like a a whale, does it? Hmm. Looks a little bit biomechanical. Anyway, uh, I'm sure it's nothing. Fina. Ah! It's, it's huge. Hey, look over there. Hmm. Nice ship. Yeah, definitely looks a bit biomechanical. What else has that kind of look to it? Hmm. Captain, whose ship is that? While we're in Valua, I heard rumours that the Armada altered their chain of command. That must be Ramirez's ship. He was, uh... Galsai... Is it? Gaussian? Gaussian's vice captain? He's the most feared officer in the Armada. Ramirez. You know, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. Everything's fine. Hmm. Hmm. We can't fight them both at the same time, Captain. What should we do? 
take out the value and ships first. I don't want them interfering with the fight with Ragnam. I need to kill Ragnam myself. Battle stations. Leave Ramnar's ships alone. Take out the two cruisers in front of us first. Okay. Surely you'd go for the lead ship, but I'm not the captain. Right, so what have we got here? We've got some cruisers. Well, there is nothing too serious. Air pirate scum, you will regret the day you stood against Lord Ram Ramirez and the sixth fleet of the Armada. Pfft. Right, well, what we're going to do here is, you guessed it, gear grease. We're going to grease up those gears. Uh, nope. Hope this stuff's not, like, really flammable. Because that would be awkward. I guess technically this isn't really a boss fight, so... Could speed this up a bit, but... Hey, he missed. Nice. Lucky break. Because these ship battles, as cool as they are, they, uh... They really go on. to speed it up. And it's a shame because I like I love the music. But my god man, we'd be here forever. Okay, so we're maxed out. Let's get some cannons firing. G type cannon. Let's get the hunter torpedo out. And you know what? On the final turn let's pop a Dulux kit just to be sure. We should be fine. Yeah. We've almost got a quarter of his health down. Oof. Kind of hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Yeah, so we've taken out half of the uh, enemy ship's health. And they've barely injured us at all. So we can fight defensively and maintain distance or be aggressive and close in on the enemy. We're going to be aggressive and close in because we can use our harpoon cannon. Uh, is not going to survive, so it doesn't really matter what we do for the rest of the turn. You're done, son. 18,000 damage. Very nice. Very, very nice. Unfortunately, I don't know, the ship battles just never seem worth it because you don't really get a lot at all for them. All right, we've got a straight shot of Ragnam. Ooh, he's looking injured. I've waited for this for a long time. Harpoon cannon, fire! Didn't seem to need to charge up our spirit points there. Yeah, there's no escape for you now. Ah! Captain, watch out. There's an enemy ship off the starboard side. It's Ramirez. He got behind us whilst we were concentrating on Rackman. That's a gnarly looking ship. Ooh. I think we used too much gear grease. The little jack is on fire. Propeller power is dropping rapidly. We're losing altitude. This isn't good. If we keep this up, we're all going to die. No, I've waited far too long. I may never get another chance. Captain, we've got to abandon ship. We need to get to the lifeboats down below. What? You're telling me to abandon the little jack? You're telling me to let Ragnam go? Yes, if you die, it won't bring back your son. And as long as you're alive, you'll always have another chance. Grr. If you die now, then the lives of your crew and your son would have been lost in vain. Alright, we're abandoning ship. Everybody get down below. Uh, he's got a point. It's better to live to fight another day. Right, I like this. Like the ship is burning, but 
I mean, it's just a load of flashing red and yellow uh, lights. However, the atmosphere here is really good. This is a really cool part of the game. Uh, I remember playing this for the first time, and I was like, we, if, we can't lose our ship. If we lose our ship, like, what? what? Do we get another ship? I don't know. I guess we must get another ship. Or maybe the little Jack survived somehow. Captain, hurry, get on. The ship's going down. Captain? Captain, get on board. Look, Ragnam is hurt. Captain, what are you doing? No, no, don't. Get over. Get over. I love these lifeboats. Captain, hurry, get in. Well. No. Ah, uh, that didn't go very well. Look how cool these lifeboats are. Uh, we escaped, but I guess Captain's going to go down the ship. Captain! Why did he do that? Well, it's not over yet. Ramrez? Or Ramrez? He fires at lifeboats? Of course. What do you expect? Oof. This ain't gonna go well. Vase? <laughs> As Vase spirals to his doom. Uh oh. It's not great, to be honest. Although, he's not done yet. Oh dear. Well, that was a disaster. Complete and utter disaster. Well, it looks like Vase has had a little luck. Uh, I'm alive? No, let's not celebrate just yet. It looks like I've been separated from Ica and Fina. I hope they're both okay. Where am I? Ike, Fina, and Drachma have left the party. Well, uh, that was bad. Uh, I guess we should go have a little look at our new island. Uh, yeah. This island here also has some wonderful music. Hmm. Have a little look around, shall we? Well, it's not the biggest island in the world, but it's something, I guess. Now, there's two treasure chests on this island and a skeleton. So, I guess we're not the first person to land on this island. Uh, let's see the good or bad. I'm guessing as the person is dead, it's bad. Well, I guess I'm not the first guy to get shipwrecked on this island. From the look of his clothes, he was probably a sailor too. Looks like he's been dead for a long time. There's something embroidered onto his collar. Gonzalez. I guess that was his name. Hmm? There's something in his pocket. It's a map. It's a little old. Maybe it's a map of this island. Ah. Huh. There aren't any of the same landmarks. Probably a map of a different island. It may come in handy someday. I'll just hold on to this map for a while. Yeah, either that or we'll die with it in our pocket. Well, I'll give you a proper burial so you'll finally be able to rest in peace. Good for you, Vase. Hopefully when you die on this island, somebody will bury your bones in the near future. And then the cycle continues.
There, well, I guess I should find some high ground so I can check out the rest of the island. Yeah, we will do that. But first, before we uh, do that, there's a little cave. There's actually two caves here. There's one here that has, should have, chests. Sure, there's a chest here somewhere. There's two chests in this island. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. We'll we'll come back to this one. I know there's definitely a chest. De well, actually, let's go back here for now, and let's go scout the island out because. We can have a bit of a gander if we go up here. I mean, it's not a bad looking island. It's just uh, very empty. I'm sure it'd make a fine base. take a lot of cleaning up though well I'm definitely on an island it's an uninhabited one at that uh, looks like a storm is coming in I should find some shelter there was a cave next to the spot where I buried um, Gonzalez maybe I should check it out I mean, you actually get a slightly different bit of text if you haven't found Gonzalez yet um, he basically doesn't mention that part but that's quite cool now, I'm sure there's two chests on this island. Uh, I know there's one. Wait a minute. What's down here? Oh, no chest there. There's one in here. There's this little offshoot. We've got the moonberry, which is nice. Right, one second, guys. Let me check my notes. Okay, so there is another chest. Uh, I was remembering correctly, but we can't get it just yet. Anyway, let's go deeper inside the island. This looks snazzy. I guess my friend Gonzalez had the same idea. Looks like he was living here for quite a while, too. Well, it doesn't look like I have much of a choice, so I might as well set up camp in here and get some rest. Sounds like a plan. Ike, Fina, wherever you are, I hope you guys are safe. What about Drachma? I won't worry about Ike and Fina. I'm sure they're fine. Probably. Oh my. Um, oh, they're nice and cosy together, aren't they? Ugh, ugh. Yeah, a little bit. No, no one's undressed them, so that's a bonus. How did we end up in this place? And where exactly are we? This place does seem peculiar. I don't see Vase or Captain Drachma anywhere. I hope they're okay. They're probably fine. I actually think it really suits I could have her hair down like that. Her standard hairstyle looks a little bit silly. Uh, they're probably fine. They're both too stubborn to die that easily. Hmm, I wonder who saved us. Uh, young woman. Oh, you're awake. There's no need to get up just yet. Let's see, what can I get you? How about a nice hot bowl of soup? Sounds good. Sure, that'd be great. Oh, my name's Ika. And I'm Fina. Thank you so much for saving us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Ika and Fina, you both have such pretty names. You two are lucky that I found your lifeboat. You're both unconscious. What exactly happened? I love exciting stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. A little bit uncomfortable there. Ah, don't worry about it. 
If you don't want to tell me, I won't force you to. But by the looks of it, I'd say you two are air pirates. Uh oh. Rumbled. <laughs> Looks like I guessed right. You don't have anything to worry about, my dear. Because I'm an air pirate too. Oh. Okay. What? Really? Yes, I'm Clara of the Blue Rogues. Pleased to meet you. Well, that's convenient. Ah, I see. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Vase is probably fine. You girls like him, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. You have to have faith in your man. Uh... <laughs> I guess face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Captain Clara. Captain. We'll be reaching Nasrad in a few moments. Okay, prepare for landing. We'll be landing in Nasrad's capital, Nasrad, very soon. Nasrad is a very large city. Who knows? Maybe you can find out where Vase is whilst we're there. Okay, I mean, maybe. And she has a really cool ship. <laughs> I mean, it's not my colour, but it looks pretty freaking cool. Maybe we'll get that ship. Spoiler, we don't. It's about time for me to set sail. It was very nice meeting the two of you. I'm sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Here, take this. It's only 5,000 gold, but it should help. Whoa. Wow, really? Thanks for everything you've done for us. First you save our lives, then you give us gold. Don't give it a second thought. After all, I too am a blue rogue. Where are you going now, Clara? Me? Well, I'm going after the man I love. He's an air pirate too. He's a little on the wild side, but he's strong, smart, and so <laughs> yummy. <laughs> oh dear. I follow him wherever he goes. I know that someday he'll come around and fall in love with me too. Isn't that romantic? Um, sure. Well, I'd better get going. I hope we see each other again. Good luck. So I wonder who this mysterious mysterious pirate is that she's got the hots for. Yeah, that was that was very strange, but not unpleasant. That was the nicest stalker that I've ever met, but at least it explains why her entire ship looks like a honeymoon suite. Uh oh. That poor air pirate. Honeymoon? I kind of figured you wouldn't know what that was. Don't worry about it. Let's go see if we can find a place to sleep tonight. Received Clara's purse. Well, she may be crazy, but she's a nice person. Anyway, this part of the game's cool because we don't have Vase. So we play as Ica and Fina. Obviously, you see Ica's character model. Um, and <laughs> I was kind of blown away at this point when I first got here. I was like, wait, what? We're running around as Ica? Like, that's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, and uh, we get to explore this massive new city, which is a trading hub. So I'm guessing there's uh, some really cool stuff here. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird. Her hair tied the way it is kind of like a boomerang I guess but that's kind of the point I suppose and I like the way she's still wearing her one glove which is obviously her throwing glove but hey anyway um, let's go let's have a little bit of a look around ah oh, hey guys we're the NASA artillery guard under the leadership of Captain Cam Kazim Kazim it's got to be Kazim we're defending the safety of Nasrad Kazim is uh, Nasr uh, Nassar's best gunner. He's manning the wall above us. Uh, Ike is really tall. Actually, either that or that guy's really short. Okay. We're the Nasra artillery guard. Leave the defense of Nassar up to us. The cannons are up top. 
enemy ships that get too close to the city, we will blast out of the sky. Yeah, well, okay. I guess you only have one cannon. I like the way they just let us explore and wander around the battlements, that's fine. Definitely, definitely not to no good. Let's go see this captain. Now, he's a tall character. Or maybe Ike is just slightly shorter. Large man. It's so boring. When is Valua going to attack again? I'm Nassar's top gunner, Kazim. If any enemy ships try to enter our port, I blow them away with this cannon of mine. <laughs> it's like he's whipping her in the face with this whip as well. It's, just, it's very, very strange. Uh... But no enemies have attacked us in such a long time. I have nothing to do and it's killing me. Ever since I was assigned here, I've not had the chance to fire these cannons. I hope the chance comes soon. Yes, let's all hope for war, because war's fun. Well, I guess war is fun when we talk about video games. Uh, okay. Ooh. What's that? I say it's not a chest. Anyway, let's climb all the way back down. Speed that up a little bit. Because <laughs> that is a long ladder. Not Resident Evil 3 long. Resident Evil 3 long? Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 long. But long enough. Alright. See your short stuff. So, what have we got here? We've got apples and pumpkins, I guess. But, we are out of time, apparently. So, we're going to go take a save here. And this video is going to be coming in hot. I'm literally going to render it and upload it straight away. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.